Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will deploy our application. Before that, we will delete all items and all orders from database. Create a free account. It doesn't require a credit card. You need to install Heroku CLI so you can create and manage your Heroku apps directly from the terminal. It works with Git, so if you don't have a Git account, you have to create one and you have to install Git. Install git before Heroku CLI. Write Heroku in your terminal. If you get a list of commands, that means Heroku CLI was installed successfully. The same thing apply on git. Use the command git init to create a git repository for the project. We will modify settings.py before deployment. We will turn debug to false. We don't want that the users of the app can find the bugs. In production, Django collect all statics files of all applications in one folder. We have to define the root of this folder. Static root equal pure path dot join path base dir comma static files we have to import pure path in terminal we will use pip to install a package django heroku this package automatically configures our application to work on heroku We see that Psycho PG2 is installed. This package connects the app to Postgre database. White Noise was installed also. It allows our web app to serve its own static files. We will add this line of code to the middleware. I will put a link to White Noise in description. And we will add the variable static files storage to settings.py. We will add Django Heroku.settings locals and we have to import this package. In the main folder of our project, we will create a new file .gitignore. This file contains the name of files and folders that we don't need to deploy. I will put a link to .gitignore. We will use the command pip freeze requirement.txt that contain names and versions of packages that we will use it to create our app. We will not deploy these packages. Heroku will use requirement.txt to install these packages. Now we will create Heroku app to host our application. Use the command Heroku create and the name of your app. The app was created and I get domain name of my application. I will log out from Heroku. If you use Heroku for the first time, 
it will ask you to press any key to open a browser to log in log in and return to your terminal I will copy the URL to access to my application. It's empty, we didn't deploy our application yet. In Heroku dashboard, you can see your application. In settings.py, we will add domain name to all our hosts. We will use the command git add capital A to add all folders and files of our application to git repository. We will use the command git commit to record this modification. Last thing before deploying, we will set the secret key of our application. I will use a secret key of another project. It's not safe to use the secret key of your project. To deploy the application, we use the command git push Heroku master. The application was deployed successfully, but it will not work because we have to add another file, proc file. In main folder of the project, we will create a file proc file. We will add this line of code, web two point gunicorn name of our application dot wsgi this file tell python how to communicate with the server we will use pip to install gunicorn and pip freeze to update requirements.txt We have to update the Git repository. And now we will deploy for the second time. This time we have server error, we have to migrate. In terminal we will use the command heroku rhin python manage.py migrate. It didn't work, I will uh, turn debug to true to find why. Every time we modify the project, we have to update the Git repository. There is a problem with white noise middleware. I will turn the back to false. I passed white noise to the wrong list. I will update git repository and I will deploy.
This time the application works online. We will use the command heroku run python manage.py create super user to create a super user. We don't have burgers or pizza. There are two ways to add them. You can use Django administration or we can save information of our database in GS own file. Inside the folder food we will create a new folder dumps. We will use the command manage.py dump data food greater food slash dumps slash food dot gs own. A new file was created and it contains information about pizza and burgers that we saved in database we will update git repository and we will deploy for the last time To save burgers and pizza in database, we use the command heroku run python manage.py load data food slash dump slash food.js own. We can see in Django administration that burgers were added to database. Let's try to order a pizza and a burger. The order was sent successfully. Let's check in Django administration. We have the order with the message online and the two items that I picked. This is the end of this project. Take care.